Your story is incredible, Liz. Your story. You know what? It's it's incredible that I'm even talking about it. You know the way that it all started again, just with her accident, and then um, it's a story that I I really put away because it was too painful. Every time I had to, or I wanted, it's like I wanted people to know. It's like you must know. You know, it's okay. We are all okay. Yes. And I had that, that just, it just wanted to come out. But then every time I did, it was pushed down, you know, uh, it, it, it went all ways, literally. It, it went with, with anger, with, with ridicule, with, with me being crazy. Oh, and since I did have amnesia for some time, you know, they're like, well, that's just your mind or they'll do even the medical way. As in, well, that's what the brain decided to do for you. That's how it explained what, where, you know, where the brain being idle. Wow. And that's how your brain explained it being in that. It was like, it, yeah. So, so this for me, bringing it up today and having you smile at it, you know, has, uh, it's like the people that commented, you know, all the ladies that commented. Um, it, I'm, I'm beside myself with that. It's like, what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like, really? Yeah. So, yeah. Had a near death experience where she was pronounced, I believe, brain dead for four days. And she had such incredible experiences on the other side. And um, would you feel open to sharing some of the experiences with us? Sure. Like, um, like well, since you heard it, what would you like for me to I loved the touch part on? hand or a hand on the back of you right at the beginning oh, okay okay um that was right in the beginning um uh -huh. this is i was driving um uh on the way to i was inside the airport already i was driving to the towards the uh the terminal and um it there's it, it, there was a left curve i had to you know, it's very curvy kennedy airport is has a lot of curves because it was designed by John F. K. He wanted it to resemble a heart, a human heart. So it literally, you know, it has all the um, all the main roads are all major arteries, and so it's a lot of curves. So I'm going towards a curve on my left, and that it was um, where the uh, fuel tanks are, which means that there, there's a little, very small lake surrounding. I don't know why they keep it that way. Maybe I don't know, but it, it's filled with a lot of toxins and fuel release and and you know just nasty and then to my right was a wall concrete wall i have only one lane on my opposite they have two lanes going in the in the other direction so when i'm heading towards i, I kind of got a feeling but i didn't see anything this was four o'clock in the morning it was very dark the car that was that did come head on to me had no lights so by the time I saw it, it was basically on top of me. I, I literally had a couple of seconds to, re you know, to react. You know, do I go left, right? What do I do? And um, I literally, when I saw left, and then I saw right, and then I saw the car, I let go of the steering wheel and I pushed back and I said, "God, I give you my soul." Every time I say that phrase, it's just like, <laughs> it's Chills. God, I give you my soul. <clears throat> wow. Yeah. Wow. And that's when that hand. And again, I explained it, it, it would be so as to, if you would put two human hands together, it would be that size of a hand, you know, kind of a, a large, pretty large hand. And it was very, I felt it. It was completely just came down on me this way as in, you know, I, I felt all five fingers right below here on my neck, wow. right, right at the end of the neck. And it just grabbed very firmly and yanked me out. Wow. Oh, I, I did not feel the accident at all. Mm -mm. Wow, that's wild. then I was I was put back in. Oh my gosh, who else? <laughs> like <laughs> fascinating list. You know, and I was watching your video, and I was just, I was just like, I I felt so overwhelmed with the love and the love for mm. you, for you to be oh. able to back with us and share that experience yeah. on that side and I just thought oh my gosh if she wouldn't have come back I wouldn't have known her and I know you had yeah. shared 
in like when you had gone to the other side and I wanted to stay wanted to stay and I I loved the part where yeah. you were so kind of humble that you know telling yes. the in telling the the spiritual being um but yeah. I I'd love to stay here they'll be fine back there <laughs> they'll be okay they'll be know. okay <laughs> that's all right. which is incredible. I'm already here right and I just think like um, <laughs> You needed to touch and I was like oh my goodness gracious I was really reflecting on this I'm like I wouldn't have known Liz if she if she wouldn't have come back you yeah. know and, and then just others as well on this path so yeah. would you say that is like your most profound spiritual experience actually yeah my children are saying yes <laughs> <laughs> I, I yes I've had I've had many but I would say that yes that would be that's that's the big one. That's incredible. You no, know, yes, being there and and just being me, mm -hmm. feeling who I really am. You know, we. I mean, we always say, at least us who are in this in this path, that we say we are spiritual beings having a physical experience. We say this, but when I say it, I say it. Because I've, I've experienced it. You know, th th there's a difference between logically saying it and understanding it and actually living that moment or those okay. moments that I lived that to me, they were very short. Again, it felt like it was just 15 to 20 minutes and it turned out to be four days. Wow. It was a very short conversation. <laughs> very, very short. I think it's fascinating. This, like you said, I mean, thinking about the changes in the time space continuum, you know, yes. that it felt minutes but you were actually considered brain dead for four days four you days. know on the other side for four days and you know it's interesting during some of my readings it's so interesting how some of the loved ones will say we'll see you in a snap like keep living your life we'll see it just right. like that. yeah well that's why mm -hmm. that's incredible. yes time is totally different on that side it's not like our time that's so at all. fascinating I love yeah. this other part I have to share, and you can definitely expand on this. But okay. when you realized that we are truly all love, yes, I was like, Mom, yes, that was amazing. Can you expand on that? What was that? Like? It is. It is. It is. Okay, my 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 little human brain cannot fathom. It just cannot gather. I mean, I experienced it, and yet I cannot pinpointed exactly for you the closest I can get is like I just getting it to that cellular as in you know physically with your eyes seeing as far as small as your eye can see tiny tiny little cells that are choosing to hang out together to form this one being and they are all just pure 100% unadulterated clean clear love wow That's and I mean, you, you're a mother, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. You, that's the biggest love that you've been able to experience while being here. It's, it's a different type. It's a special type of love that, that, cause I'm a mother as well. So I, that's why I say it. And that love in comparison to what I experienced that day is minute. Whoa. Grasp that one. Wow. It's like, I'm getting chills. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what? It, it's just, it's out of this, what, it, your mind, I cannot wrap it around it. I'm saying it to you. I lived it and I still cannot wrap it. And I love you <laughs> for making me speak about this because it is unreal. It, it's, and it is, mm -hmm. that's the beauty of it. We are, this is what we are. What we see here with our eyes, what we touch with our hands, it's not real, although it seems that way. So what's real is what's not seen, what's not felt. That's why we have to continue to go inside right. oh, to get that. as close as possible to that because that's what's true. This is here to, this is, I guess we can call it um, our school. It's, it's our little long extended high school version <laughs> Or, <laughs> or college or something. 
and we're just we're just there and we're learning and we're experiencing but it's not who we are at all so see if we did yeah if we remembered who we are at birth we wouldn't be able to make the mistakes to, to you know to have our soul even get larger which makes sense why because i was like why do we have to forget we're so cool <laughs> And I love it. It's like part of that expansion, really. Like it's a, it's yeah. about expanding the soul and being able to yeah. uh, really allow yourself to be even more than than who you are. You know. Yeah. 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 Well, and I loved when you just shared about that that love. Like the the biggest love that I've ever felt <clears throat> is mute compared to the love that you were able to feel on the other side. Like that's incredible to me. You know, just me even saying that. My mouth. It, it, you know, my actual lips and, and, and tongue and, and just the mechanisms here, they did not want to say it because it just, it doesn't seem real or true. Right. Yeah. And I don't, I just, that's one of my things. I have never been able to lie. So for me to say something and my mouth not want to formulate it, did not want to actually say that, but it is the truth. It is my new, and it's the biggest love that you have on earth right now is that mother love. That unconditional love, no matter what, whenever, wherever, we would do anything for our children. Absolutely. And in comparison to what you really are, what I really am, it's a oh, tiny little bit. I'm just like, <laughs> feel that. Um, she yeah. says, souls, and she says, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and Patti's giving us a ton of with that. I love that. Mm. How long ago did that happen? Um, that happened April 20th, 1995. Wow. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. Incredible girlfriend. Mm -hmm. oh, gosh. So I am meeting you how many years later? Over 20. Oh, I'm 21 now again. You're yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was just thinking. I have two birthdays now. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> That's part of it, having a near-death experience. Right? Yes. <laughs> Well, I, I'd love for you to share as well um, some of the things that you've been able to do with me, uh, VIP yeah. sessions. I'd love for you to be able to share with these ladies. Well, with you, again, with almost everything that happens to me, <laughs> it's never that normal, usual way. You came in perfect timing. I was having a, um, a session with uh, Rachel and she says I don't know I don't know but what is it what is it what, what is it that's coming through she says you know you 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 need more energy you need to bring up your level you, you need to do something like have you done Reiki I'm like yes I've, I'm a Reiki master three times I've done Reiki I've been I've done the same thing three times mm -hmm. so I, I think I can say at this point that I, I think I'm a Reiki master and she says oh oh okay so that's it I'm like okay what is it I said, well, maybe you need to bring that, you know, do another attunement, you know, a higher level. And she says, well, what about, have you, do you know anything about holy fire? I'm like, no, because I've heard of the others, but I had not heard of, of the holy fire um, at, in that moment. And she says, oh, I have a friend and she's wonderful and she's having a class. I'm like, okay, when? Tomorrow. I'm like, what? <laughs> what do you mean tomorrow? <laughs> what do you mean tomorrow? How am I going to get in? And you remember how that went. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Us trying to connect. There was so much happening, too. And it, it was seamless, yeah. though. Beautiful. Yes. All, all came together. You're like, can we do this? How do we do this? And it was so funny because I was actually doing the guided meditation right before the attunement when you had come on because you had already had mm -hmm. masters and that you were joining us for the Holy Fire. And it was so funny because I was like, dang, I felt like the bomb diggity because I was doing this guided meditation. And at the same time, I'm texting you and we're getting you off the computer. Are you doing okay? Like, and then you walk into a forest and I just remember texting you, trying to pull you on. And it was just the coolest connection though. As soon as I saw you, you just felt yeah. so familiar. And I was like, I am so glad she's here. So that was, that was incredible. I love, I love how these things happen for you too. Like, I just feel like things just fall in. Yes. You know? And I, I, well, I, I guess I have to thank myself for doing that. It's a choice that I made. 
I did. I decided, I said, you know, when these things show up, whether the time, the funds, the whatever that in this human world needs to be, and it's not, it just needs to show. Right. So when it shows up, I was like, okay, okay, what do I have to do? And I just get, and it's always that same, I, I can't really explain it, but it's, it's one particular feeling that I was like, okay, this was presented, this was placed on your path because you just have to do it. Stop asking questions. You don't need to ask. We're not going to ever know the big picture. That's the reality. And a lot of people look for the big picture. No, we get a corner of it. You just have to see to that big toe, to the front of the big toe, so you can take the next step. That's all you need to see. That's all they're going to give you. See, so I learned that. And I'm like, you know what? Okay, Heather's tomorrow. Okay, so, okay. And I looked around. I remember, it's like, okay, that money has to show up right now. <laughs> like, where's it coming from? <laughs> where's the appointment? Uh, what I do with the kids? I just started, my brain just went at a million miles an hour. It's like, okay, this is happening. And I'm doing this because that's what, you know, it's meant for my soul to do. And I'm going to do it. So that, I loved that you just, you know, you were there. But then, of course, I, I'm open. As these things show up, I just ask. I literally ask, is this one of those things that I just have to say, okay, and no questions asked, and I go for it. And that's, what I, that's how I've been living. It's been wild. <laughs> and that's a good segue into what you're working on. What are you working on now? Well, with you, I am working on the, well, medium, not really mediumship. I've been looking at your courses but I'm doing exercises with learning to channel on my own, um, which I have done. I can say to, yeah, yeah, I, I, cause I don't know who to try them and we're not supposed to say that you're really doing it. It just, I'm just testing to see how it works. And I did it with divine Mary and I did it with um, uh, Metatron. And I just asked my kids, you know, different, I don't remember exactly right now, and, and I, I remember asking Lena, I said, so, so, and so, so, and then she says, oh, well, mom, I would like to know something. And she's like, she looked a little purple, I was like, oh, and I just, I had just asked Mary and I felt the presence and then I just started speaking and then it, it just, it, was, it just, it just came out very peacefully, very calmly. I looked at her, I was like, oh, yeah. Like she didn't notice. <laughs> like she didn't notice that I kind of spoke a little different. <laughs> like, oh my god, I did it. <laughs> so I was like, I was giddy. I was giddy. Totally giddy. <laughs> totally. So yeah. So I I've been trying to um to practice more, but then I I don't really have the subjects. I found out today that I'm a star child. Oh, fascinating! Amazing! 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 It's got my head going. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, star child. Oh my God, I understand. I understand. They're like, all these things are coming to my head. It's like, what? Because I have, I haven't told you. There's so much we haven't spoken of. You know, we need to sit one day and just talk. We talk with you again. This is incredible. <laughs> I was, I, I have a, uh, in my mind for, I would say, um, maybe Four years, I, I could say that roughly, maybe a little more. I remember, Heather, listen to what I'm going to say to you right now. I'm listening. I'm like, I'm captivated right now. Keep going. <laughs> it just makes me laugh. It's like, oh my God. I feel like fairies are all over. He's like, stop, go to that right now. Um, <laughs> I have a route where if I were to be, if you sit me right now, this instant, on a spaceship, I'll get up and I will fly and take you to this particular planet where I'm supposedly coming from. That's fascinating. That's fascinating. It's wild. I see myself and, and I can see the stars like, okay, no, you go and you go more to the right and then you go to the left, you go, you keep going straight. And, and I, it's like, I have this map in my head. That is but it's like, where does that come from? Why do I have a map in my head? That's fascinating. Well, I've never I been in any spaceship. Right. Like, why is it there? It's, it's, it's that like downloaded that map is here. Yeah. I want to ask our viewers. I'm like, who wants to go with Liz? Like, <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, you gotta get that spaceship for me. <laughs> and I, I love Liz for, for you 
to tell us like how people could get in touch with you if you know if they're interested in your story or interested in your services oh well um i have a um i do have a a facebook page it's called awakening avalon because i feel that something wherever is it that i come from or whatever is that i'm supposed to be doing has to do with helping people awaken so that's why i named it that um and I have, there I have information. I have um, a website that um, I've been working on, on my own without knowing what the heck I'm doing, <laughs> but I'm very proud of it. <laughs> Good for you. Um, it's, but it's, it's such a long name because, because I, I'm not savvy, you know, it's my first website. I was not aware when I clicked, um, I must have clicked the wrong thing and it actually it it connected my actual email with the name of the website so now it's, it's an entire long it's like my email it is my email is like it's like l tavares 216 dot com slash awakening avalon so it's extremely oh. long so people can find you at awakening at awakening avalon would be yeah facebook would be the quickest way because then they can message me i mean messenger me you know, and then we can definitely um, get into it. Because I do, yeah, with the Reiki, distance Reiki. So. Oh, I love that. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Well, I'll be in your presence. So many people are like, I'll go. I'll go with Liz. <laughs> <laughs> so I love um, So thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining mm, us. Thank you for having me.